Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show how you can very quickly improve your aim. This might sound like a bad weight loss commercial or something, but I'm serious when I say if you practice for 10 minutes a day using the courses and tips and tricks I'm about to show, your aim will drastically improve. If you don't believe me, I'm living proof of it. Back in January, I had never aim trained in my life. I had been playing Fortnite on keyboard and mouse for nearly 6 months by then, so my aim wasn't bad, but it wasn't that great. After around 2 weeks of aim training consistently, my aim was 10 times better than it was before. At the time, I mainly used Kovacs aim trainer. The problem with that is it's $10 so not everyone has access to it, and it's only on PC for keyboard and mouse players. Luckily for all you lads who don't have Kovacs and for those of you on console, there are actually some creative aim training maps that I think are just as good as Kovacs and maybe even better. The course we're going to focus on is so good that I've been using it over Kovacs and I found it more beneficial. The map I'm talking about is Tito's Aim Building and Editing Training Map. This is actually the same course I recommended from my editing guide. It's easily one of the biggest and most useful training maps available, but we're only going to focus on the aim training part of it. You should be able to see the code at the top of the screen, and I'll put it in the description as well. This is the complete version of the map, and then there's a more FPS friendly one if your PC is not as powerful or you're on console. After you hop in, you can use whatever guns you want to practice with. I like using the tactical AR and the combat shotgun for aim training because of how small their crosshairs are. You guys can use whatever you want though. The first scenario I recommend is the bouncing zombies one. This is the perfect minigame for working on your close and mid-range tracking aim. Zombies will spawn from the middle and start bouncing all over the place. I feel like most training maps use these tracking drills with shopping carts instead. What sucks about using the shopping carts is that they don't get aim assist and they're not realistic targets. With the zombies, controller players are in luck and aim assist is enabled. Plus, because they're shaped pretty similarly to normal character models, it's much better practice than before. In my opinion, this is the closest Fortnite will ever get to an ascended tracking or strafing scenario from Kovacs. The best part about it though, is since you're in Fortnite, you don't have to simulate the Fortnite mechanics. You're literally using them already and can practice your aim while actually playing in creative. For this drill, you can also practice your shotgun aim and hipfire spraying, but I've been mainly focusing on my close range tracking with an SMG or an AR. Before we get into the next one, I'll just tell you guys about my practice routine using this map. With basically all the drills I'm going to show, you can do them for 1 or 2 minutes each, which is actually a relatively long time for just straight aim training. If you've ever used an aim trainer before, you'll know it gets tiring after like 2 minutes of doing the same drill. Doing 5 or 6 of the many drills I'm going to show will take like 10 minutes, so technically the title's not clickbait. And like I said before, you will see improvement fast. So if you want one of the best close range tracking scenarios within Fortnite, this should be your go to practice course. The next useful scenario is the 360 target room. This is pretty much a copy of the one wall 5 targets from Kovacs, but it's even better because you're playing in Fortnite so you can use all the mechanics and guns that are in it. For this drill, you want to practice both your AR and your shotgun aim. You should not be holding down your fire button while doing this because once you hit the target it will disappear. This is more for improving your first shot in game when you get first shot accuracy. It's also really useful for when you aim in with your shotgun. My rule of thumb for when to ADS or hip fire with your shotgun is to always hip fire with your shotgun when someone's in your face and they're actively shooting at you. Sometimes you'll have no choice like when you're in midair and jumping you just can't ADS. On the other hand, you want to ADS when you have a free shot and want to make sure you hit it. This could be after you make an edit or you sneak up on someone and they just don't see you. I would use this drill to practice both your ADS and your hip fire aim with shotguns, so no matter what the situation calls for, you'll hit your shots. The third drill you should practice with is similar to the last one we just showed. This one is just one wall of targets though and you're from much farther back. You should predominantly be using your AR for this drill to practice swapping targets quickly as well as your tracking aim. When you're trying to improve your aim, make sure you're moving from target to target quickly. Even if you're missing a lot, making the micro adjustments is part of helping your aim get better and develop muscle memory. You do not want to just slowly hover over the targets for 5 seconds to make sure you never miss. Don't go insanely fast, but start at a reasonable rate and do your best to hit as many shots on as many different targets as you can. This drill has a few different levels and elevations you can practice from, and they all have separate 1 minute timers that you can start. 
If you do all three ranges within this drill, that will take you only three minutes and will easily be the best aim training practice you can get in Fortnite. The fourth practice drill is the shotgun flick section, which reminded me a lot of the one from Gearsy's combat training course. All the targets will be ducking in and out of cover, so use your shotgun and practice your shotgun flicks. A flick can be done while aiming down sight or hip firing. Basically, just position your crosshair away from the target, and then in one motion, try to reposition it and hit your shot. This is really useful for the situations in game where a guy jumps in your box. You just don't have the time to turn to realign your character model, so the only thing you can do is flick your crosshair and hope you hit your shot. If you practice this drill every day though, that really shouldn't be a problem. Now we're going to switch it up and focus on tracking aim like in the first drill. Tito calls this the flying zombie minigame. I'm really not sure how, but he managed to fling a zombie all the way up into the sky and then it gets pushed down and over. You should be practicing your long range AR tracking and trying to kill the zombie before it gets reset. This will really help you laser people out of the sky while they're gliding. So if you've ever had problems with that, then this is the drill for you. A tip that might help you out if you're struggling is to simply lower your ADS sense, which Fortnite calls your targeting sense. This doesn't affect how fast you build or edit, that's all your normal sense if you're on keyboard and mouse, and if you're on controller, those are completely separate. Your targeting sense is just for when you're aiming down sight with an SMG, a shotgun, or an AR. So go play around with a lower ADS sense while using this drill, and I can almost guarantee you your tracking aim will improve instantly. The next tracking drill I'll cover is the 360 tracking one. This also uses the zombies, but instead of being tossed in the air, the zombies just pushed around in a big square. Again, you want to be practicing your AR tracking, so if you had just changed your ADS sense, this will help you see if you like it or not. Depending on how fast or slow your ADS sense is, you should be resetting your aim and your crosshair every time the zombie goes across your screen. I'll usually just pick up my mouse and move it back to the center of my mouse pad because it's impossible to track the zombie all the way around in one motion. It's really not a bad thing if you have to constantly reposition yourself and your crosshair because your ADS sense is low. I think that's way better than having your ADS sense be insanely high where you're probably missing a lot of shots. Find what's comfortable and grind the tracking scenarios. For the first day or two, you can do these drills alone for 10 minutes, then just work them into your normal routine. For long range AR tracking, this should definitely be your go-to scenario. The last tracking drill that I'll cover is a combination of the two we just did. What's cool about it is that you have to look straight up because the targets are floating in the sky. The targets are a lot smaller than I had initially thought. In case you were wondering, yes, you should be full spraying at these targets. This will teach you to control your bloom and realign the center of your crosshair on the tiny moving targets. The other benefit of the targets being in the sky is that they move diagonally up and down. With most tracking scenarios, you mainly track from side to side or up and down. This will help you track side to side, up and down, and basically every direction even though it's on the same defined path each time. Along with all the other tracking drills, you can combine them to make a really good tracking practice routine. They're so useful that I've actually been practicing with this one and the zombie tracking games to warm up and just to practice before I hop into an actual match. The final practice drill sums up everything we've done so far. It's an open zombie killing arena where you can build, kill zombies, make edit plays, and basically do whatever you want. There's no set drill for you to practice specifically. I could see this being really helpful if you're new to keyboard and mouse or Fortnite in general and you want to work on your movement while aiming. In all the drills we've looked at so far, you're basically standing still for all of them. In game, you are standing still a lot too, but for a lot of fights, you have to constantly be on the move in order to stay alive. This is great practice for that and getting a sense of how you can transition all your aim training into an actual game. You should be practicing your flicks, your tracking aim, jump shots, building after shooting, quick edits, and weaving in and out of the zombies. This might not be the best for your specific practice routine because you're not working on anything in particular, but you can always do it at the end to wrap up your aim training and to get ready to fight actual players. Overall, I showed 8 different drills including close range tracking, long range tracking, flicks, hip fire spraying, and even a zombie practice arena. Again, my advice is for you to do any of the 5 drills I just covered for 2 minutes each, and if you do that consistently for a week or two, I'm telling you, your aim will improve a lot. It doesn't matter if you're on controller or keyboard and mouse, this is straight up the best aim training you can get.
Something that would be cool to do would be to record yourself doing these practice drills today. Then in two weeks after doing consistent 10 minute practice, record that and compare the two. If you see an improvement, then come back and let me know. If you don't, then come back and feel free to roast me and leave a dislike. So if this video helped you guys out, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Shout out to everyone using code Jerian. Your support has been insane recently. Keep blowing up my mentions and my DMs with pics of you using my code. You might as well get a shout out if you're going to use my code, so don't forget to let me know you did. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.